All right, I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. All right, this is uh, was what I got so far. Um, I'm working on my blades, which are gonna come up 36 inches. Hold on here. This is a uh, part of the system here. As you see, it's gonna come up 36 inches. And so when it spins, all right, it's gonna spin around. I've already got the holes pre-made for the um, magnets. All right, I've been working on this thing all day. All right, this baby right here will be able to spin. Once I get everything hooked up on it, I got, I got uh, everything pretty much hooked up under there. As you can see, I got the bracket, I got it mounted here. This will mount it there. And at the bottom here, you can see where everything starts. What I did was I connected copper wire to the quartz crystals, as you can see right there. Copper wire to the quartz crystals, and it's going over the magnets. And it's at the top ones as well. I've got to uh, straighten all this up right here. I, I have to straighten up all this right here. I'll get it all together. I've got to uh, staple it all on, whatever. But this is what I got. So I've got this, these two pieces together right here. I got uh, this right here. I've got to center it off because it's kind of off a little bit, as you can see. It's off probably about a quarter of an inch, which means I'm going to have to bring this one over a little bit so that it'll be even. I got to do some measurements, make sure it gets even. But as you can see, it's pretty sturdy. This device is going to go inside of the 16 foot pyramid. All right. This is going to be in the smack dab in the center of it. And it's going to create an extremely high magnetic field. I got to get the batteries. The base of this, I'm going to be making the base of this very soon. Um, the base is going to be three feet high. All right. So because uh, um, I've got an alternator. As you see, I got an alternator. I got all kind of stuff in my um, arsenal here. I have an alternator. All right. And this alternator. I'm gonna and I'm gonna get a battery. I know where to get a battery. Really um cheap. Uh, I, I know where to get a battery really ch really cheap. And uh the alternator um um I'm gonna have it uh running and the alternator is gonna come continually feed the battery so that the battery just won't die. Alright, I'm gonna have this all set up with the alternator be will be working with the battery. And it will be operating this device, which means that this thing will run for a very, very long time. All right. So um, this is my magnetic field or it's, it's going to create a magnetic field. It's a it's a um, what did I say? It was it was like an arc reactor or something, almost like an arc, re arc reactor. But let me show, show you here. I'm going to spin it real fast. So you get an idea of what it's going to be doing, as you can see there. Um, I don't have it plugged up yet because um, I'm working on some other things. Um, but uh, this is what it's going to be doing. And uh, as it spins, the magnets are going to literally, as this spin, the magnets are going to be um, moving that energy between each other it's going to it's going to move the energy so the magnet's going to be on the on the outside and as it and as it's moving the magnets are going to create a field and it's going to it's like it's like going to be a connection of the magnet of the magnetic fields and these are neodymium all right and um this is this is the device that uh i've been working on all day and and I finally got everything together. Uh, finally got a pretty decent day where I can do some work out here in my workshop. Um, I'm going to be very soon, as soon as, as soon as the dry, the, the dry grounds up as, <laughs> as soon as the ground 
dries up uh, really good. I'm going to start the base, uh, building the base for the um, pyramid. Um, I might just be putting it on ground zero. Or I might be going a different place. I'm not sure what I want to do right now, but um, I am I'm brainstorming and going within myself and I need to go to council. So council so we can uh, make a decision on where to send this. The frequencies that have risen. I don't know if you guys can feel it right now, but the frequencies have risen. But um, this is. Uh, let me see. You can see the wiring. The wiring to this is down here somewhere. I can't find it. Well, the wiring is down here. Uh, and I get the wiring hooked up. And uh, once I get the wiring hooked up, you can see how this baby is going to work. But this is uh, my, and I'm calling the arc reactor. I call it something else last time. Oops getting all stuck or whatever, but I'll call it something else last time. So this is going to be sitting um, three feet high, but when, um, and I don't even, I haven't even measured the height of this here. Hold on here. Let me get the height of this right here. Let's see. Let's see the camera a little bit here. So you guys can get the idea. All right. Let me get the height of this baby here. Ugh. From the ground all the way up, it is 76, 75 and a half, which is six feet, three and a half inches. So this is six feet, three and a half inches uh, tall. It's going to sit on top of a, um, it's going to have a three foot pedal. So it's going to be three foot high. And it's going to be 36 inches by 36 inches square. Okay. And so that's going to cause it to be nine feet. And then that's going to sit on top of a four foot pedestal, a four foot area, which Nine and four is, uh, what's that? 13. All right. So it's going to be, it's actually going to sit up 13. It's going to be in height, 13 feet. All right. And then that's going to give, you're going to have an additional three feet at the very top, which will be for the, um, for the pyramid. Um, you know what? I might have to shorten that. I might have to shorten it just to think about it. I might have to shorten it because I'm getting really high. So I might have to take two feet off of it and make it 11 feet high or better yet, just make it nine feet high altogether. All right. So this is six feet and then six foot, three inches. And I can have the three foot pedestal at the bottom of it, um, which would give it nine feet. And okay. See, I'm, I'm brainstorming still, you know, that's, this is what happens when you start to build, you brainstorm a lot. Uh, but it's good because your frequencies begin to vibrate and you get to think and you get to um, ration out things and and um, get to get your mind, get your, get your mind um, moving. OK, so um, this is just uh, the project that I'm working on here and um, everything is going good so far. And um, we're going to be uh, I'll be getting you guys um Abreasted on everything else that's going to be going on, but like I said, um, this is is every, everything is, is is looking good so far. I got to take me a break. I've been working on this baby since noon, and it is now six o'clock. I've been working on this baby six hours. All right, it takes a lot when you're doing measurements and getting things together, and got to take things apart and put it back together and. Make sure everything is the right way. As you can see, I got all these dynamics right here. Oh, tripping over stuff in here. Got to clean up a little bit. Um, as your legs there, you can see the legs on either side. And I got um, your bracket, everything braced in this brackets all together. You see it is sturdy. This thing is sturdy. All right. It's not moving around. It's not all wooey wobble. 
And once this thing gets together and gets yeah gets gets to going, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. So um when I get ready to move it, um this base here is gonna stay the same. I'm gonna take the motor off. Uh the base is gonna stay the same. I'm gonna take this is gonna come off, all the top parts are gonna come off because I have to disassemble it. And then I'm gonna have to put it um maybe uh get a buddy who's got a pickup truck. And uh, put it on the back of the pickup truck, but first I got to get the pyramid, uh, the 16 foot pyramid built. And once that is built, um, we can go all the way for it. Um, anybody who wants to assist in building, just let me know. Um, if you want to assist in building, um, if you don't have carpentry carpentry skills, we will work on it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting me a generator as well so that I can um, work on the field. Because when I did the eight foot pyramid that I did, I was like really close to home. And I um, I was going back and forth here in my workshop, cutting wood, taking it back, cutting wood, taking it back, cutting wood. I waste, I waste a whole lot of gas, you know, because it, it, it takes gas to start that engine up and then turn it off and then start it up and then turn it off. Oh yeah, it's, it, it, takes, it takes gas when you do that. So, um, I'm going to have a uh, generator so that I can uh, turn that baby on and um, that'll be my source of electricity at work site and I can get start and I can get everything cut up and everything done, whatever I can get done. So like I say, if you, you know, you all live in Detroit um, and you want to help out, please, you know, you don't know carpentry, carpentry skills, you're going to learn carpentry with me because I am a master carpenter. Believe me, um, I'll be having some more um, work tables to work with. Um, I've got tools. If you have your own tools, bring your own tools. And we're going to go to town cutting and drilling and sawing and all this good stuff. All right. So I uh, just want to show you all the uh, the arc reactor. That's what I call it. I call it an arc reactor. All right. It's a, it's a magnetic arc, re arc reactor is what it is. So, um, with that said, I'll catch you guys later. But this is this baby right here. I'm gonna give you a, just a let's take that baby here and just spin it, and it's gonna be spinning just like that. And um, the magnetic field between the the energy between the magnets are gonna be literally touching each other, and it's gonna create a, a huge magnetic field in the middle of that pyramid, which is gonna create more energy. All right. Um, the pyramid dynamics, uh, I've already got it in my head. It's beautiful dynamics. So, you know, like I said, brothers and sisters, you know, let's get this done. And thank you. Those who you, those of you who all have donated. Thank you so much because this is going to help. Um, just like it helped with the uh, eight foot pyramid. This is going to help very much. We want to get this thing going. All right. Remember, our ancestors were constantly building, all right? Our ancestors were constantly building. They were in a constant mode of creation. And this is where our power came through because we are creators. You gotta understand, like we, like we said before, there's power in creation. And these Saxons know this is why they're trying to build these buildings up everywhere they go. They're trying to build these buildings up because there's power in creation. But, because they are not indigenous to this realm and you can't tell them, you know, they, they got it stuck in their head that, you know, they can do what we can do because they're not indigenous to this realm. The energy that they put out doesn't do anything because it takes a soul to make things move and they don't have souls. Just like we said all before, you know, all these Orientals and Saxons who got together and called themselves doing mass meditation, nothing happened. But the minute we started doing mass meditations, the whole freaking planet, the the our realm, the the cosmos, the sun, everything reacted to what to what we were doing. It takes a soul to make movements. All right, guys, catch you guys later.